What's up, everybody? Uh, I wanted to film a an actual intro instead of just throwing a couple clips together because that's what I did yesterday. I was in such a hurry to get that in the house, and I'll explain what I'm talking about in a second. But the reason I want to insert these clips here is to show you that I didn't tamper with anything to do with the plastic of the, the palette, and I want to show you truthfully what I do with wholesale, uh, how I make it work for myself, if it does work, if it doesn't work, and that's kind of what we want to talk about in this. Uh, We'll do this video. I should be able to get it all in this video, if not the next two videos. This is the palette. You can see eBay. These are some items that this wholesale store we're gathering up for eBay. Um, some really, really, really nice items on the top. I'm hoping, you know, obviously it's all the way through. It's supposed to be up about five grand in value. And 50% on this kind of stuff is a little bit high for what I really like to pay. But the reason that I did it was because I want to open a relationship with the people that were selling this. I want them to call me literally every time they build a pallet like this, I want to be the first person they call. Hopefully over time, you know, we can arrange some lower payments, but you gotta, you gotta beat the competition there sometimes. So I'm gonna stack all this stuff up in there and we'll go through it together. Okay, so everything you're looking at here uh, from this pile that wraps around to back there, minus the coffee, is everything that was in that pallet, uh, and including that bass guitar. So what I've what I've done was I just unloaded it from over here, brought it right here, didn't touch it, didn't do anything else to it. So now we're going to move it here to this table, and then we'll go through we'll go through about 15 items at a time. Um, I'll show you basically what I what I like to do with wholesale uh, when I'm paying this much because in wholesale the margins for me at least in my model are so much smaller than than when it is you know a thrift store or a yard sale or something like that if i can double my money i'm happy um every time i do wholesale because it's nicer stuff and nicer items that people might be looking for so i paid 2500 dollars for all this the first thing i want to do is i want to try to look for the highest dollar items and i want to try to hit that 2500 dollar net uh, to zero out everything as fast as i can with as few items as possible that's my business model. That might not work for you. You might like to sell those smaller, worse things first. You know, everybody operates at, at different levels, and you know, some people might think this is right or that's right. That's fine. But I'm just showing you how I do things. So the first 15 items, 10, 15 items, depending on the size, because some of these boxes are bigger, we'll go through, and I'll try to hit that $2,500 mark as fast as I can. So let's move 10 items in, get some values, and see where we are. So right out of the gate. Uh, this is great to see, uh, these Elgato's, Elgato, I think it's Elgato, um, different pieces. Now, when you buy wholesale, you're subject to getting returns, uh, so none of these are sealed. That might be a red flag for some people, but most of my time with experience on these, it's either going to be, it's going to be new, uh, one second here, new or new open box, if it's, even if it is returned. So we got Camlink 4K60 Pro, HD60S, HD60S Pro. We got a couple of those. This Eero system, it's partially sealed. So I've, all the prices that I'm looking up for these over here, I'm I'm putting very, I'm going below what they're actually even selling for. Uh, these Unify six lots. These two things came in there. Uh, the reason I'm showing you these because I'm actually going to put those on the shelf. So I'm just moving them now. I just wanted to show you everything that came in the pallet. So our first little run here grossed about $1,000. So that's a great start. A lot of small boxes, but a lot of heavy hitters. So that's a really great start. So we're at about $1,000 gross. Now that's not net, fees, shipping, everything like that. I'm gonna try to hit the local markets with some of this stuff so I can maybe cut down on some fees, but I live in a very small area. So it's really hard to push higher end. Anything over like 40 bucks, no one will buy around here. So let's do the next round of things. That was the first one, right about a thousand, gross. Okay, for the next round of stuff, found another Elgato piece. Found a sealed surface dock, sealed uh, 414X HP LaserJet toner. This, I, I got excited for this because I thought it, uh, this looks very, it's very misleading. This looks like the little Nintendo logo, but this is not Nintendo license. So this will go Locally, I might keep it. It might go to Macari. I'm not sure. Macari is kind of still like the Wild West for things like this for me, in my opinion. It's 20 bucks somewhere around there. Uh, Thunderbolt Mini Dock, Winnie the Pooh Funko Pop, brand new in Protector, Amazon exclusive. Uh, these were a lot more expensive than I thought they would be. Uh, that's a really nice headset. This is a smart thermostat. 
Elgato Wave, Google Nest, or Google Indoor Cam for your cell phone, Razer. Um, this was actually in there, so this obviously can't run, you can't get too much of that, so this will help. So I'm, I lied, I kind of told you guys I was going to do the big things first, but I'm just doing things that are closest to the door so I can walk in there. So we'll go through the next one. As you can see with this group of stuff here, uh, this puts us right close to our goal at 2500 and then we got a lot of stuff to go through. It's getting a little bit time consuming looking up every price and then going, I'm going to have to do that anyways when I list. So we're going to ballpark from here. We're almost at our goal. So I'm just going to kind of breeze through and show you how cool some of the stuff actually is. This is sealed, not huge money, but it's pretty nice. Here's a motherboard over here. Uh, I looked at it. Looks like it's an open box. Uh, some Reebok shoes, a G-Shock watch. Sometimes you get some games, not very often. That one's sealed. Uh, well, it's only worth like 15, 20 bucks. These are uh, smart pepper sprays. These are worth like 40 bucks, but I don't really know where I will sell those because I'm restricted on Amazon. These are worth about 40 a piece. So it's going steady. It's a steady stream. Nothing too crazy, but steady stream of cash. Next round, we got some women's Nike shoes. We've got Xbox Elite Series 2 controller. That's, it looks, I'll just show you guys because it'll be fun to kind of go through some of this stuff together uh, in the future while I'm listening. This thing looks brand new, but you can tell someone's opened it, so I don't know if it should go as open box or pre owned yet. But I mean, it's just so clean. My camera's not very good, but uh, we've got a few of these. Um, they're really cheap. There's three of those. Probably just give those to friends or family, somebody that will use them. Uh, these two items are pretty expensive. This is a cheap LED mouse pad, probably give that away too. Getting into some HP ink. There's some night vision binoculars there that are really cool. Uh, that brand's not very popular. It's some kind of Chinese knockoff brand. If those work pretty good, I might keep them. Uh, just had this random Razer Basilisk Hyper Speed Mouse in there. Uh, these are awesome. I needed some of these actually, but these are huge um, bubble mailers. So got about 50 of those. Echo Dot, these two toys not worth a lot. Uh, ring Charm, Plug and Charm. I actually need that. Um, muck Boots, Adidas Cleats, I hate buying cleats. Uh, used, new, doesn't matter. I recommend, I know Amazon sellers do really good with like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Gabriel Brothers, and some sort of cleats, but I, I never do good with them. I just sit on them forever, so I don't recommend those. More of the Smart Pepper Spray, brand new Roku Express. Uh, this is a really, uh, this is a like a battery charger. They sell really fast. I've sold a bunch of those in the past, so pretty good little round there. We've probably got four or five more rounds, so I think we're going to do really good on this. Hopefully we, like I said, if we net a thousand, fifteen hundred, I know I always shoot for doubling, but this is such nice, easy stuff to work with. If I make fifteen hundred, I'm happy in a week. Uh, obviously we want to double the money, but so far it's looking pretty good. Here's the interesting uh, round of items. So of course we've got our standard electronics, which that when you're paying, you know, 50, 60% of retail of new, new open box, you know, that's what you expect. But even at that with wholesalers, it's not that they're, most of the time people think they're always trying to get one over and sometimes they might be, but these guys that I, I do business with are not like that. You, I mean, they pretty much tell you everything that you can expect in the palette. But that's, this is a perfect thing to show you that it's not always what you think. So at the bottom of that pile was some quilt sets. Uh, this is new, so that's still probably 20 to 25 bucks locally. So it's okay, I'm not upset, but I'm just saying that, you know, you never really know. Some Snapple drink stuff, I don't know. Some knives, a chess set, so that's okay. Uh, this, this is what I want to show you. Uh, this is an area rug gonna lift it barely it is disgusting you can see hair and dirt so we're not going to even go through that we're going to toss that straight into the trash hate doing that but that's part of this game so this round's pretty this is so okay so you go from the worst of the worst to the best item in there uh, that's open new open box so that's perfect that's what we want to see some Adidas slides more hey dudes uh, some RC cars and that's <laughs> that's the crazy thing about wholesale I mean it's either it's either a dirty rug you know or a gaming um, a computer component 
And what I'll say to that is like, so basically what I'm what I'm telling you when I paid this high price to be have an open relationship with these guys, if you just go into a liquidation pallet store and you just pick out a random pallet, you're not going to see this outcome because you're only going to be paying four or five, six, probably eight hundred dollars for that pallet. You'll see a lot of the rug type stuff, but then you probably will see something like the computer piece or you know some headphones. So the the ratio is probably 70 30 bad stuff i mean honestly so if you pay 400 dollars for a pallet you're probably gonna and when i say bad stuff i mean stuff like this stuff like this cheaper items stuff like that but then like i said you know that 30 percent you'll find something like this and then that'll pay for the whole pallet and everything else is gravy so i'm going to do a lot of wholesale talk on this channel because i don't think it's i think it's the one area everybody's kind of scared to talk about on ebay because everybody's so tight-lipped with their suppliers and where I'm from I can guarantee that anybody watching my channel is not from where I am so I plan on trying to do some interviews with them maybe some walkthroughs with their warehouse um, maybe bring some business to them because I also know that I can't buy everything so if they set me up a pallet they could probably set you one up too uh, I'm sure they would do shipping and things like that so let's go to the next round this this was a killer piece uh, definitely adds to the total we're getting up there where we want to be but again like I said dirty rugs and snapple drinks you know <laughs> not gonna get rich off that so on to the next okay so this round we've got again some quilted things uh, like I said there's a few of those this is one of those squishmallows squashmallows it's new but it's got some stuff on the back so I'll just either throw that away or donate it uh, Turtle Beach headset JBL you know obviously high sellers fast sellers another Funko Pop but this all the boxes no matter what you're never gonna get if it's in a pallet, it's going to be crushed. Uh, I don't sell over the counter, so just probably donate or give that away. Uh, I never ever buy this type of replacement ink. So this is probably the worst round, uh, personally, because this is too heavy to ship for, you know, $20. Can't sell this, won't sell this. Box is damaged, damaged, you know, so that's, that's part of it too. So I'm going to get this organized, moved over here. Uh, probably be the last room because there are a few more boxes, but they're pretty big. There's two saws, uh, two DeWalt saws, Rockville speaker set, and a Logitech steering wheel. So, I mean that that puts us right up about netting, you know, 1,500 to 1,800 on a week's worth of work. You know, not killing myself with this because I also love to thrift. I'm never going to stop doing that. I like to do wholesale, but I love estate sales. I love filming that stuff. So well, I'm going to start filming that stuff because it's just now starting to pick back up. So I'll turn the camera around here in a second. And we'll talk about some more wholesale questions you might have and we'll go from there. So as you can see um, with wholesale, it's a lot of, with that type of wholesale, like I said, it's a lot of fast movers, a lot of nice stuff, but you pay up. I mean, you pay 50 to 80% depending, you know, I'm sure that that's how actual stores, you know, let's say you're buying iPhones hundreds at a time, you're definitely just getting, you're not getting them for, you know, that big of a percentage off. So there's a lot of ins and outs with wholesale. If you have any questions, let me know if there's anything you want me to cover in any of the videos. I just wanted to show you kind of what I, what I even deal with when I do wholesale. So thanks for watching, subscribe, like the video, and uh, I'll be back soon.